Hello everybody, my name is Mike Williamson and what I want to show you today is the benefit of using ground control points and if you don't have ground control points using fake ground control points instead of using no ground control points. So the real ones are always better but if you don't have real ones to use I want to show you what using fake ones can correct. So what I'm using today is WebODM. Uh, that's my, my uh, mapping program of choice. It's uh, the right price. And uh, one of the nice things about the user interface is that it gives you the ability to, to show an open street maps image and overlay your ortho image on top of it. So what I'm using these for is to compare with the, the lining up of things like the cart path and, and uh, various points of interest to see how they, how they line up with open street maps when you're comparing uh, the, the ortho that hasn't had any ground control points versus the one that has had ground control points even though they were faked. So I'll take you in here and show you what one of the parts of the golf course where the differences show up quite a bit is down by this green. And I'm going to take it down to about 50%. And you can see how things like the bunkers don't line up, the cart path doesn't line up, the pump station over here doesn't line up. So you, you can see where it's pretty squirrely. But when you look at it from the overall perspective, it really doesn't look bad. Now trying to line these things up later is going to be a challenge. So I thought, well, let's. I, I didn't gather any ground control points to start with. And what I wanted to do was use a kind of a combination of Google uh, Earth Pro to be able to locate some points of interest, identify their latitude, longitude, and elevation, and use those as actual uh, uh, ground, ground control points. Uh, I also used a program called uh, Ground GCP Editor Pro, and it's uh, about a $50 program, but I bought it uh, when I bought a, like a user guide for Open Drone Map, and they gave gave me a discount. I think I might have paid $39 or something for it, but it it does allow you to do the the tagging of the various points of interest that you have in a set of images. Like say you have a point, and then you you're using a matrix like three by three matrix of photos that are right around that point and using them to uh, to identify where that point is in each one of the photos if you've done any any of that type of work before with pix4d or any of that it's very very similar to what you would do with that this is just a, a one-time purchase uh, deal where where you're able to do a similar thing to generate the ground the gcp list dot text which is the, the list of references to those points in images that allow you to, to georeference an image. So the next part I want to show you is from that same area, one that has been modified with the fake ground control points. And I'm going to take the opacity down to 50% on this one. And you see where it's virtually spot on. And I'll take you to a couple other points of interest that I used as ground control points. This is a, a sewer uh, manhole cover, a standpipe that is quite a bit up, up above the ground, but I'll take that down and you see how it's lining up where the in the other image, we'll flip back to the non GCP file and now you can see where the manhole is way down here. So the end result of this, the simplified message that I want to give you is that using ground control points that aren't necessarily the, the perfect uh, surveyed using GPS equipment and, and uh, sub-meter uh, accuracy or sub-centimeter accuracy that you can get out of some units, you can still end up with a very good product at the end of it if you're not doing deliverables for something like a, a, a surveyor um, to have them uh, use it in their, their work or to do cut and fills that a contractor might be getting paid for. I wouldn't use it for any, any of those kind of things, but to try to get a map to line up between what you shot with your drone and something like 
OpenStreetMaps or Bing or Google, if you're overlaying those images similar to what you're seeing on the screen right now, if you're overlaying those images to try to get them to match up without having to do an awful lot of Photoshop work. So that's it for this video. The next video, I'll go into the details of how I created that. But I just wanted you to, to get the message that you can do some very good <laughs> referencing even without GPS equipment out there to get things to line up properly with other other services. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.